Welcome back to Vampire when we left off. We just lost a patient. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this wow. how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental was he caused by the fever transforming the into a skull? Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. My bedside manners. Would I have been able to save him if I if I chose the other one, not cardiac massage? I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Doctor Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. Hey! I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Well, I would milk her. Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, why not just Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is <laughs> a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who wow. put the world on a platter. Hey! You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime. And it will stop, Nurse Craig. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I look away, but you resign. Hint required. Embrace. I'm ending this right now. No, I don't want to kill her. <laughs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So, here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice then? No, just privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Interview with the vampire. New citizens available to kill. Hint failed? What? Another hint failed? 
No, I'm failing. Why am I? It's locked, all right. Why am I failing kings? Okay, I guess she she gone. Let's let's go back to the Pembroke Hot. Excuse me, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What happened? What's going on here, huh? You really just gonna come in here like that? Just like that? Without... Oh shit! Um, no, I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm dangerous, of course. Shit. No, no, don't touch me. Fuck you! Oh, fuck me! No? Come on! Just die! I don't know how about this stick in your stick stake in your heart. It's a stake, but not, not a stick. Is Mr. Petrescu alright? Yeah, he's inside there. Cannot oh, never mind. Okay. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, what yes. was that? Nothing new to tell me? Ah, uh, okay. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Okay. Let's go back to the Pembroke Hospital and... Uh, report our findings. We go this way. Another dude dead over there. I need to level up. I need to be stronger. I don't think I have enough for the... For the... To upgrade my... my uh, Special ability, special attack. I think it's two thousand, two thousand uh, XP. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Oh, should he follow? Kill it, boy! Wait, 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 wait! What? What? No, no, no! Fourteen. That was fourteen. No, 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 no! We, you don't wanna kill me. Oh great. Oh come on! That's a lot of them. Okay. How about we get the easy guys for, for Can you stop? Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. C 
can you stop that? Ow! Fuck you. He's strong. Come on, one more. Oh my god, what's, what's going on? <laughs> I missed it! Okay, one down. Ouch. Come on. We got this. Fuck you. Shit. I want to kill the big dude first. Ah, that was too far away. Come on. I just wanna taste your blood, you know? There we go. Okay, you're down four. There we go. Okay, he's down four. Oh, come on! How many? Wow. Okay. <sighs> okay, this is not the easiest game, you know? <laughs> Torch this. I did not see that coming. Ouch! 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 Okay, okay, this is, this is getting out of hands. Fuck me. Slowly but surely. Hi! I can you what? <laughs> yeah, torch me, boys. Come on. What the save? Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, he's almost dead. Come on, one more, one more hit. With this. There we go. Okay. Fucking shit! What an ambush! Oh, that's it. Nothing else. What did you get out of that, huh? Anything? Any good weapon? Ten stun, fifteen stun. Hmm. Should we use that? Is it good? Fuck me. So, which way is the blood going? 
uh, or maybe it was just a trap. What's this? The game just froze. No. No. Ah. -uh. No. Ah. -uh. No. Please don't tell me I have to kill every one of them again. Fuck. Okay, we are back. Guess what? Guess what? I had to kill them again. <laughs> Let's not get inside that house just now. Okay? Let's just go forward and see what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's still the the level 18 skull, which I don't wanna fuck with. Right now, yes, home safe home, yes. So let me see his uh, freaking shotgun. So this is one sixty damage. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. As always, as always. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 160. Ooh. I don't have enough. Can I sell? I don't want to sell this. I'm going to use that. Oh, but I can sell the junk hmm can oh every one of them can be recycled for components okay what what do we have here I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. Anyway, let's just move on from the dead body that you just sucked my the blood state. out. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. Wow. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. 
and I'm no fool. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Ekon? Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Okay. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. <laughs> Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. So you know your maker? Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Huh. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? 
You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Vampires? What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Okay, then that's all. Farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. But before, let me just the fuck. Um, ma 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 ma. I want to. How do I recycle them into compo? Damn it! Oh, let's equip this. It uses more stamina, so I should focus on stamina. What's this? Prevent disease. Do not cough in public. <laughs> Just like nowadays. I need a better weapon. I ha I need a better weapon, dude. Somehow. Yeah, let's make one of those. Why not? And I should make fatigue, cold, bronchi. Oh, I should make this for Petrescu. Pneumonia. I don't have anything for migraine. It's not yet. So I can upgrade. Should I upgrade the machete? Hmm. Can I get a better weapon than that? Okay, let's recycle those. And let's... Can I get weapon to a new level with the recording energy? If the more damage and you will also gain access to points. Ooh. Stun, 20. 25 35 perfect 
Trunchion. Oh, so I can actually make them come on and stuff so I don't have to find like a rare weapon. Mmm, I see. Ooh. So what if I do this to 20? And then work in progress, yes. Add three stun points when the weapon hits. Oh no, I wanna I wanna do the stamina. That's better, yeah. Okay, I don't have tiny common handle part. I need more. Okay. Okay, it, it's it's a work in progress. I need a better weapon than a machete. Is the hexa any good? Damage 200. Eh. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Yeah, let's do that. You mean right now? Sure. And by now, I mean in the next episode. So let's meet up there. Bye-bye.